Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. You know, as a modern agent, right, we're all creators of relevant content. Each of us is our job, you know, showing homes, going on listing appointments, attending, closing. That's not our job. That's the result of us doing our job. Our job every day is, is to create relevant content that we share with our customers so that we stay the top of mind, credible agent. And don't get it wrong, but I will say that's so hard. It is. Sometimes, maybe you're a little bit like me, sometimes I just have brain freeze. Sometimes I'm having a really hard time coming up with re relevant content. What is that going to be today? Ah. It can be so hard. And then, and then others do the most incredible things for me. They just hand me my content for the day. It's why I urge you to keep your radar screen on all the time because it's laying on the floor all around us. All we have to do is look down, reach down and grab it and pick it up. And today I think I should send a little thank you note to the Atlanta Journal Constitution because they do the most incredible things for me sometimes. Today's headline, maybe you've seen it. If you're a modern agent, you've already seen it and you know what I'm about to talk about. Those of you that are just waking up for the day, you don't have any idea. Well, front page above the fold headlines in the Your Hometown newspaper says this, high rates hit Metro Atlanta home sales in big, bold type. Um, <laughs> you know, you gotta love the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. What, what business are they in? Think about it for a second. If you said journalism, you're wrong. They are not. Journalism dead and gone. It's been buried for a long time. They are not in the journalism business. They're in the, uh, oh, how would you say it? the outrageousness business. They're in the business of selling advertising and that apparently is all they're concerned about anymore. What kind of bait can we throw out there? Forget whether it's accurate or not. We don't care about accurate anymore. We care about clickbait. Can we make you buy our paper today? Can we get our subscription rate up? Why? Uh, because we can sell more advertising at higher rates that way, and it's all about selling advertising. But in their endless pursuit of bullshit, they hand me my content for today. And I want you to grab the paper today because I think everything in the paper is true and accurate. I do not. I think 90-some percent of it's total bullshit. It's out of context, hype, exaggerated, doesn't reflect the real story at all, uh, but it is pretty good about giving you your talking points for today. And if I was creating content today, and I am, I'm just sharing it with you, this is what it might be. So something like this. So folks, you might have seen the front page bold headline article, uh, headlines in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution this morning said, high rates hit Metro Atlanta home sales. Oh my God, run for cover. The world is ending. The sky is falling. They make some claims though in the body of the article which leave me um, scratching my head. Like what? Well, they call it a July slide. A July slide. Really, because here in our office, we've seen nothing over the last two to three weeks but a huge surge in listings coming on the market and sales activity. We have. That's the day-to-day -day reality, which is an incredible two to three week surge in activity, which has our staff almost overwhelmed. Really, a July slide? Where, where are you getting this from? Oh, they don't substantiate it. They just call it a July slide, but they don't have any data that backs it up. Uh, they say that uh, the real estate market in Atlanta downshifted in July the way it usually does. The way it usually does? What the hell are you talking about? Who says that? 
And where's your data to support that? Oh, there is no data to support that. That's just this art writer's opinion. And what the hell do they know about real estate? They don't know anything. And apparently these days, you don't need to know anything. You just need to have unsubstantiated opinions that make people buy your newspaper. True? Uh, we don't worry about that stuff anymore. Downshifted in July the way it usually does. Who says July's a downshift? They go on to say this, that there's a slowing in sales due to school starting. Who says that? First of all, who said there was a slowing in sales activity? Second of all, who said it was because school was starting in August? Uh, they ignore the two biggest drivers of home sales in today's marketplace, population migration. You know, I don't think the people that are moving from other regions of the company's primary concern is when homes start, or when schools start, excuse me. Uh, number two, millennials. Millennials are aging into uh, household creation and home ownership. They're not worried yet they will be in five to ten years, but they're not worried today about when school starts. That's not influencing their decisions. Who said this stuff? And where's the substantiation to this? Um, they go on to say, I mean, the bullshit just gets deeper and deeper. Quote, it's an issue, is, speaking of higher interest rates, it's an issue, especially for first-time home buyers. Really? Are you going to take a look at what rents have done and compare renting two properties versus owning the same property, put them side by side? Or are you just going to have another in a series of unsubstantiated opinions meant to get everybody all stirred up, create a lot of drama, which you hope will sell your rag of a newspaper. If you were really looking towards an informative article, wouldn't you pair, compare the cost in July 23 of homeownership to the cost of renting? Because you got to have some place to live, don't you? Or has the, uh, the homeless rate dramatically shot up in Atlanta? Uh, you know, on one hand, this is frustrating. On the other hand, this is great content. And I just use it to help reposition my people. Folks, I know why. Why do I want you, if, if I call the Atlanta Journal-Constitution full of bullshit, which I do, why do I want you to be aware of what's in it today? Uh, because this is great content. Your customers are seeing this stuff. And absent a reasonable voice, absent their trusted advisor presenting a different view on the situation. That's all they have to form their worldview with. And I want you to offer them a different take on it. Going on into the article, they offer a couple statistics, which is nice if you're a journalist, right? Oh my gosh. They say sales are down 2% from July a year ago. Okay, well, I might say this, I can't sell what I don't have. So you might say, I'm, I'm not even going to argue with your 2% drop. That, that doesn't sound very significant to me. Uh, but I can't sell what I don't have. Do you want to talk about the lack of available inventory? Or do you want to just make it sound like the bottom's falling out of the real estate market? A 2% drop, I don't know if that's the bottom falling out. But then why was there a 2% drop? Well, we can't sell what we don't have. They say that median home prices dropped 0.6%. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay, first of all, that is statistically insignificant. Median is not a trusted statistical measurement. Okay, that's just the midpoint between the lowest home price and the highest price. I don't know what that means. Maybe there were just more lower priced homes sold in July 
than there were in July a year ago. Maybe a year ago, we had four or five very expensive homes in Atlanta. So I don't know. But if that's true, that would impact the numbers. By the way, 0.6%, a half of a percent, this is the bottom falling out. Uh, they did, they did offer one statistic, which I actually thought was pretty interesting. I, I knew it because I lived through it, but I did find it interesting. Maybe you will too. The mortgage fixed conventional mortgage rate in 1981, which is uh, my first year in college, and my parents bought a house back then. And I remember this because um, you don't forget stuff like this. Uh, the fixed rate in 1981 reached 18.39%. 18.39%. And how do I know that? Because my parents bought a house that year. Notice that I didn't say my parents didn't buy a house because rates were 18.39%. No, people still bought homes. When interest rates were 18%, yeah, they did. People still have to live their lives. They still have to move forward. Uh, you know, folks, here's what I'm saying to you this morning, I guess. Take their drama and use it to deliver your thoughtful message. Be a reasonable voice with perspective in a sea of total bullshit. And it's going on all around us. You are the modern agent. You are the trusted advisor. And you are going to go out there and make it happen for yourself today.